Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. Today we're going to be doing a summer makeup look so it's going to be light and glowy and everything that you would want for summer and again if you haven't seen my recent videos you have to ignore the audio in this video just because I am moving so my room is empty and that means my room is echoey so I can't control that but hopefully you can enjoy this video anyways. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. I did my brows off camera so I just wanted to skip over that just because it's the same brow routine as normal, so I mean, if you want to see a brow routine, just ask, but I feel like we know how I do my brows. So we're going to do the eyes first because we're going to use a little bit of the glitter, so I just don't want that to get all over my face. So first, I'm going to prime my eyelids. I'm going to use the Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer by CoverGirl. I can't believe I haven't finished this yet. Like, I thought I was close, but I guess I'm not. So I'm just going to do that, and then... Blend it out. Now to set down that concealer, I'm going to use the Ofa Pressed Powder. And I'm just going to use my Real Techniques. This is called the Insta Pop Shade Brush. It looks like this. And I'm just going to set that down. Now we're just going to use some bronzer in the crease. I'm going to use my Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the shade Sunlight. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe M441 brush. Super dirty, but let's ignore that. I'm officially moving in 12 days as of today, the day that I'm filming this, and I don't really know how to feel. Like, I just don't think the reality that I'm moving across the country has hit me yet. I'm kind of just like, oh yeah, I'm moving to Tennessee, but it's not like something that's actually reality to me. So I feel bad because a lot of people around me are sad and for me it just hasn't really hit me yet so I'm not that sad and then they think I don't care and that's not the case. I just haven't processed it yet and I don't think that I will until I get there. And then when I get there I'll probably be really really sad but I don't think I'll be able to process it in my mind until I'm there in person. I decided to just put the bronzer all over the lid just so that the glitter that we're going to use has a nice base. Now we're going to use this Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter. It's in the shade Metallic Peach and it kind of has that jelly consistency that we've been seeing be really popular. I don't think this is brand new, this product, like the jelly things have, but it has that same concept. So I'm just going to dip my finger into this and just press it on the eyelid. When I think of summer, I just think of light and glowy everything. Bronzy, all of that, and that's what I think of. So that's why I thought a little bit of shimmer and glitter on the eyes was necessary. And you can see how it's getting everywhere. This is why I wanted to do my eyes first. I'm going to wipe off all the glitter, fill in my brows, and then we'll be back to do the face. For primer, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Famine. For primer, I'm gonna use the f oh my word. For primer, I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, and this is just an easy, summery, light mist that you can use for a primer. So that's what I'm gonna do. For foundation, I wanted to use something light coverage, something that I shouldn't have in my collection still, but I do. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Clean Liquid Foundation in the shade. Classic Beige, which is 130. You can totally use a tinted moisturizer or a skin tint or something like that. I just don't have one in my collection. So this was the closest light coverage thing that I had. So I'm just gonna pour it on my beauty blender. My beauty blenders are from Ulta, by the way. It's the Ulta brand. So that's where they're from. And we're just gonna pack it into the skin. I poured way too much. Oh my gosh. Be very careful. This is the struggle. For concealer, I'm going to use the number 7 Radiant Glow Concealer in the shade 10. As you can see, I'm using my 
glowiest products which if you know I already have oily skin so this is not what I would normally do like even in the summer I would still do something pretty matte unless I was like going to the lake or something I would just do something very easy but yeah this is really against what I normally do but I wanted to do it for you guys because you requested it maybe one day I'll figure out how to do something glowy that doesn't like make me look greasy or oily but just something that's like a nice natural glow all right, so that's the concealer done. I'm still gonna set this with powder just because you don't want your makeup to slide off your face. You still want it to look as glowy as it can be. So I'm gonna use that Ofra powder again, and I'm gonna use my Real Techniques setting brush, and I'm just gonna set the entire face. Then I'm gonna use bronzer. I'm gonna use the same Rimmel bronzer in my Morphe M523 brush to do that. So I just kinda swirl it around, and then swirl around my face. I personally don't care if my bronzer application is messy. I used to carve out my chin right here, I don't know, jawline, with powder, but I don't do that anymore. I just don't really care if it looks messy now. I just kind of like that look. I mean, the forehead and a little down the neck. For blush today, I'm going to use the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush Sparkling Bellini. That's what the shade is. So it looks like this. It's super beautiful, but it's a glowy blush, and that's what I thought would be good for today. So I'm just going to kind of tap it in and then just stipple it into my face. So not the circular motions I do with the bronzer, but just going like this. And it gives you just this beautiful, radiant pink glow to the cheeks. I like to do a little bit on my nose. I did a lot on my nose right now, so I'm gonna use my powder brush to get rid of that. I like to do it on my nose because it gives you like that sunburnt type of look, so it makes it look summery, just a pro tip. Now the most glowing, blinding highlight that I have is the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my Morphe M441 brush. I just have another one. And this is my highlighter one, so I'm going to use that to apply some highlighter. See, so look at that. I'm also going to use my finger to apply that to the inner corners so that they pop a little bit. Now, before we go in with mascara, I'm going to set my face with my setting sprays. So the first one being the facial spray by Mario Badescu. This is the orange one. So I just like to do this and then use another beauty blender just to set that into place. It kind of just melts everything into the skin. And that's what you want to get this glowy finish. I don't have a dewy setting spray, otherwise I'd probably use that, but I do have a matte one. This is the Seal the Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray. It's a matte one, and it's from Flower Beauty. So that's what I'm gonna use, and I just bend that into place. So next, we're gonna put on some mascara. I'm not gonna put anything on my lower lash line, but you totally can. My eyelash curler that I'm gonna use is from Revlon, and then the mascara that I use is the Total Temptation Mascara from Maybelline. So I'm gonna apply those. Last but not least, we obviously want a glossy lip, so I'm gonna use the Maybelline Baby Lips, the blue one. It actually has some sunscreen in it, so that's helpful for your lips, especially during summer. Then for the gloss I'm gonna use, it's the Burt's Bees Super Glossy Natural Lip Shine in the shade Juicy Peach. So this is the final makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me, because I'd love to do those for you. So, so that's it. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye, guys. <laughs>